child I know You hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt Good evening friends, welcome back to my channel. I have been really bad at vlogging this week because I have been working a lot. My job right now is as an educational assistant and so I go in and I help teachers in their classroom but I'm actually also a certified teacher and so my uh, hope was that they would pull me in as a substitute teacher as they needed me and this week they needed me <laughs> and so this was the first week that I've really worked as a full-time teacher for a while and I've been in the first grade and I absolutely loved it I was in the fourth grade for one day as well and it's just exactly where I want to be I hope to have my own classroom next year but needless to say I was very busy and very tired so I did not do very much vlogging I did not vlog at all <laughs> this week it is now Thursday night and I've decided to sit down and give you a little update of my reading because even though I was very busy I did manage to accomplish a lot of reading this week so so far this month I've read five out of the ten books that I set for myself and I started the sixth book and ended up DNFing it and I will give you a little bit more information about that in a moment but the five books that I ended up reading and completing were The Priory of the Orange Tree, The Graveyard Book, Catherine House, Ninth House, and The Box in the Woods and those filled five of the prompts that I had and you'll see more details about those in previous vlogs and also in my September wrap-up that I'll film at the end of the month. I started reading The Deal with the Elf King which was the Becca recommendation no it was the prompt for feed scroll so I was randomly scrolling through my Goodreads and Becca happened to be reading A Deal with the Elf King and that was the first one that came up so I decided to add that to my TBR and I tried reading it this week and I made it maybe a quarter of the way through, maybe not even that much. I read for about an hour and I read it on my phone. It was an ebook that I got on Kindle and I just struggled with the writing style especially. It felt contrived and I found myself cringing a lot and it didn't seem believable and the interactions between the characters were automatically annoying to me and like I said just they didn't feel genuine and I could not I couldn't get into the story I found myself really really frustrated with the main character really early on and knew that I wasn't going to like her very much. And I tried, tried, tried to get through it because I, I mean, I DNF fairly regularly because I believe that if you're not enjoying a book, there are so many books on my TBR that I would really enjoy. And I don't have enough time in my lifetime to read all the books that I want, so why would I waste time reading books that I'm not enjoying? But when I set myself my very first TBR for booktube, I really wanted to complete it. <laughs> but I just couldn't. I meant to take my glasses off for this because I know the ring light is really terrible. And I've actually filmed this intro three times now because the first time I had my glasses on and the ring light was right in my eyes and you couldn't see my eyes. And the second time, the angle of the camera was so high that it cut off my 
my neck here and so you couldn't see anything but my floating head. I'm still working on the videoing thing. <laughs> I'll be really happy when I can get my own camera because that's my end goal. I'm currently almost done with the Fellowship of the Ring. I only have about 50 pages left and my plan after this is to sit and finish it off tonight and enjoy an evening full of Middle Earth and sadness because the end of the Fellowship of the Ring is really depressing. But I am looking forward to finishing that. It's been a joy to read as I knew it would be. And I am about a quarter of the way through listening to the audiobook of The Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. And I'm really enjoying that as well. So my plan going into the weekend is to have the fellowship done tonight, finish The Royal Assassin at the very latest by Sunday. And I also want to pick up the ones we're meant to find this weekend. And that will bring me up to nine books out of the ten. And then then... And then, 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 then. And then, I will only need to pick up my final book, which is The Wrong Family, and that will complete my uh, bookopoly and magical TBR for the month. I have high hopes. I think I can do it. And if I can get through The Wrong Family in the first day and a half, I mean, I'm, it's a thriller. They usually go pretty quickly, and I'm going to listen to it on audio. So I'm assuming I can get it done quickly. I might be able to pick up a small book for my feed scroll if a small book comes up. We'll see. Those are my plans. I will be taking you along with me for the ride. And I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs>now Saturday morning at about nine o'clock and I've been up for a couple hours now I have my cousin coming over today it's been so long since I've seen her she's like my best friend so I'm really excited we are going to have some breakfast and then head into town and go shopping for some birthday presents for some little kids so should be really fun. I'm also going to try and talk her into taking me to some pretty park somewhere because I am so stir crazy just sitting at my house. I haven't had a car. I'm getting a car tomorrow, but I'm ready to get out of my house and it's a beautiful day today. It's supposed to be like 88 degrees. So I'm not sure how much reading I'm going to get done because after I spend the day with my cousin, then I am going to be getting on a video call with one of my really close friends. And we often will have dinner together and then watch anime. Right now we're working our way through Haiku, which is my absolute favorite. I've watched it so many times, but they haven't seen it yet. So I'm going, I'm introducing them to the wonders that 
is Haiku. If you haven't heard of Haiku before, you should really read it slash watch it. I have the first manga here, actually, and I'll just show it to you. Um, it looks like this. So uh, it's a volleyball sports anime, and I gravitate towards sports animes more often than not. I love the sense of team and camaraderie and um, motivation that it gives me. Like these guys work their asses off and it makes me want to get up and work my ass off. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, really, really excellent. If you haven't read it before, highly recommend. I spent some time yesterday reading. So yesterday I was at work almost all day, but on my lunch break, I was able to start the ones we're meant to find and really intriguing so far. The writing is good. The first chapter I was really, really confused and then I think I'm starting to put the puzzle pieces together about what's happening. It's set in a dystopian future um, where the world has gotten so messed up by our um, lack of care for the environment that they've had to take extreme measures and everyone is basically in a lockdown situation where they're only doing the essential activities that they need to do, such as eating, bathing, those kinds of things, um, in the real world and the rest of their time when they go out and socialize or they go out and travel. All of those things that we normally do um, to enrich our lives are in a holographic world. And so, really interesting kind of scary because I could see something like that actually needing to happen. Um, kind of has Ready Player One vibes as well. It's reminding me of that um, with the whole virtual reality situation happening. And there's also a second timeline where you're kind of further in the future and um, you open up on the main character trapped on an island with no memory of what has happened to her. So there's a, a mystery element as well. And I'm really enjoying it. I think it's really good. So I am only two chapters in though, so we'll see how it goes. I made a good chunk of the way yesterday through The Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. Loving it. A lot of people really dislike the main love interest in this story. Her name is Molly. And so far, I've really just felt bad for her and really frustrated with the main character, Fitz, because I feel like he's putting her through the ringer and I feel sad for her. But now a certain situation has come up where she's reacting really poorly and I'm just like, um, you're being really annoying. <laughs> so I'm starting to see where people are coming from with Molly, but the character development, like I said before, is amazing. The plots are thickening. Really despise the main, like not the main character, but the main villain character in the story. He is really starting to take over and I don't like it. So we'll see how the story goes. I probably, I'm probably three quarters of the way through at this point, and I'm hope, I'm definitely going to be finishing that by tomorrow night. So I will give you an update for that later. And uh, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I'm going to take you along with me when I go into town and finally get out of the house. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this vlog. Talk to you later. I also forgot to update you that on my lunch break yesterday, I did it, went ahead and did my feed scroll for replacing the deal with the Elf King, just in case I have time for it. I'm hoping that I do. We'll see. <laughs> um, but it ended up being, after a long time, was the lesson, or A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee, and I am so excited to get started with this. Everybody that I've seen on YouTube is reading it and loving it, so, so excited.
Saturday at about 12.30 and I am currently going with a, my cousin on a hike to Smith Rocks State Park. If you guys are ever in the Bend area, you have to check this place out. It is so beautiful. So enjoy the footage and I will get back with a reading update here pretty soon. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden Golden, golden, golden things in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. golden I follow my golden 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 things gold hair gold ring Hey there, it is now Saturday night. I am getting settled in. I had a bath tonight and made myself some red curry. It's delicious. And while I was cooking and eating, I finished listening to Royal Assassin. It was a five star read for me, and I don't have a lot to say about it. It was really, really good. Robin Hobb's storytelling is beautiful and character development is wonderful. There's really not a whole lot to say about this book. I enjoyed the ride so much. The character development, the way that the characters are growing closer to each other, the storyline, the introdu introduction of new characters who are really wonderful and I have gotten attached to a few new characters for sure and the ending of this really has set it up for the third book to be really intense. So I have not cried so far. Robin Hobb, like I said before, is notorious for causing people to cry, but so far two for two, I haven't. I know that it just gets worse from here. <laughs> but I am super excited to pick up the third book. I'll be doing that in October. And um, yeah, it was great. So now I'm going to settle in and read for an hour or so before I hit the hay. I am trying to get through the ones we're meant to find, and I haven't really gotten very much farther through that. I was very busy today. I went to Smith Rocks, and it was absolutely beautiful. The weather was perfect for it, and we found some really amazing, quiet hidden away beautiful spots that I had never seen before. I did get the car today. My wonderful friend is letting me borrow it for a while and the sense of freedom that I get from having a car is just hard to describe. I know it's a first world problem. A lot of people don't have cars and are fine without cars and are absolutely, you know, they live their lives without them. But for me, being able to leave when I need, when I would like to, being able to get to places when I would like to. I don't live in an area that has reliable transportation. We don't really even have a bus system where I live, so it is really difficult to get out and about when I don't have a vehicle. And so having a vehicle has given me a new sense of freedom and excitement. I think I am going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I did not manage to finish The Ones We're Meant to Find. I haven't read much of that yet. It's very interesting, and I'm enjoying what I've read so far, but I really don't have many thoughts on it yet. I, uh, other than what I have already said in previous clips, so I would just, I won't repeat myself, but 
thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please remember to like it and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below if you read any of these books or uh, have been to Smith Rocks. Um, and I hope you guys have an awesome week. I'll see you next time. Yesterday there was some